In today's video, we're going to be talking about three hacks I use when I used to get writer's block back in my PhD when I was writing my thesis. So we all know that writing a thesis is difficult. There's all number of things that make it really hard to do. We can get writer's block, we can get things that make it more difficult. Our supervisors might not make it easy. The task itself is really difficult in terms of getting all the data together to make a story. So it's quite natural that we get writer's block or we feel lethargic or lazy to write our thesis or we sit on our screen like I'm doing right here and we struggle to think of what to write. And I had this a lot in my PhD and even in the postdocs that I had thereafter. But there were three things that I did very often that helped me to get back in that writer's flow a lot quicker. And these are all really easy things you can do with your phone and a piece of paper. So you don't have to buy anything, you don't have to buy anything super advanced. So hopefully these will help you. So, what are so number one is if you are struggling to write, don't write and dictate. So a lot of the time our issue is with articulating our thoughts down onto paper and we look at our desk or our laptop and we're like, hmm, there's no point. But what we don't do, we don't actually save those thoughts because there's thoughts, then articulation, then on paper. And because we can't be bothered to write on paper for whatever reason, or your actual laptop or computer, we don't actually save the thoughts. And it becomes a problem because two weeks or three weeks later, we're like, I remember that little thing that I had and then it's a problem. So what I used to do, whenever I felt this, I would just dictate. So use my phone, you can use voice memos on your phone. I've got iPhone, I used to use voice memo. You can even do it within Apple Notes. Whatever phone you have, I'm pretty sure it has a voice memo function or anything where you can just record using the phone's microphone. So whenever you have these ideas or thoughts, just literally voice note it to yourself. You make a note and then in a couple of days, not too long ago, or ahead, sorry, in about maybe two or three days, sit and listen to those voices in the coffee shop if you wanted to and write them out. Now obviously you can use clever tools now in AI which you can you know transcribe an audio for you if you wanted to save time. Sometimes I like to listen to it because it's therapeutic to saying oh what other things was I thinking around that time. And once you start writing it it starts to trigger writing ideas because you can see it now on paper and you can then copy and paste it and mold it and it actually becomes like a paragraph or you know even a chapter in itself all based on your dictating. So if you're struggling to write use your phone just talk to yourself believe me it's really helpful it really works and hopefully that can help you just to get back into that flow by listening to some of your own now the other hack is actually drawing now it doesn't mean that you draw out like a sketch of a blood vessel it's a notion of mind mapping brainstorming connecting dots flow charts the idea of stepping away from typing and you're getting a pen and paper or if you've got a you know tablet ipad draw stuff out and connect the dots and get your thoughts down into a visual form as opposed to perhaps dictating so you can keep it stay silent listen to whatever you want to listen to and then start mapping out ideas or connections that you are struggling to put together in words put it together in a piece of paper so whatever you feel comfortable or comes natural to you in the sense of mind mapping flow charts you know but you know, I used to call it back in school mind bubble or bubble map or something it's a notion of you can see on the screen now it's a mind map a brainstorm map and whatever it is just get it down on paper because then just like the first hand now you can visually see it as opposed to listening to it you might be then start to later on or a week later start to piece together these drawings these sketches into perhaps diagrams or figures or you know actual pieces that go into your thesis or even the paper that you're writing at the moment and that is a really good way as a break even not just if you're struggling with writer's block but just as a break away from writing you can actually sit there and then look up ah this actually makes sense I can put this together like this, polish it up a little bit, and then it can actually go into your thesis. And lastly, if you are struggling to write and you've got good people around you, talk to them. Literally just have conversations over tea, over lunch, or away from work, and just talk about your work. Obviously, I know you don't want to perhaps share your secrets you know, with anybody, but I'm sure, hopeful that you find people that you can confide in, whether it's the good times or the bad times. In this moment, you can use that really lean on these people, but you can talk, both of you could talk about your research, problems you're facing, things you're going, and without realizing the talking, that you don't have to record it, but just the, the notion of talking about your research to somebody else who might be familiar with it or aware of the field, it can trigger new ideas. Because if you talk it to somebody else or if you're speaking to somebody else it then triggers ideas for you to say oh yeah i could write it like that so many people when, when i was doing my re research i used to say oh yeah you can do this you can do that and said that's really really interesting and i used to remember that and then quickly again using my own hacks use the dictator so then i wouldn't lose that nice way of describing something or i articulated something really well just talk to you people it could be close friends you know you can explain it in a simple manner and if you do, it then might trigger ideas. If you explain to somebody else who's in a different field, you would explain it differently. And because you did that, it might trigger new ideas. And it's a really easy way because you get to bond, you get to have a chat, you get to go for coffee or food, whatever. 
and it's actually been quite productive because it's triggering new ways to explain something that you struggle with and yeah. so guys those were three little hacks that i used to use and i still use actually when i'm struggling to write or i can't be bothered i'm too lazy or i'm struggling to put together a sentence They're really easy to do you can you can use a combination of them or whichever one you feel comfortable do comment down below if you end up using one and let me know your thoughts you can also find me on instagram i made a phd you can also find me on threads which is something really new that i just found out later earlier today uh, yeah earlier today that you might find interesting find me over here i'll let the link all the links will be in the description box below as always and if you do want to subscribe to the channel to help me grow and share more advice that would be super duper awesome as well but click that notification bell really important because then you get notified when i upload and drop some bangers for you but in any way hope you find these hacks useful do let me know if you do end up using them and i shall see you in the next one